It's mostly casual commander, where we try to keep our games fun without sacrificing our ability to win. I'm BK, and today's commanders are Goshintai of Life's Origin, AC, Tyrant of Gyre Strait, Chatterfang, Squirrel General, and Omnath, Locus of Creation. Please subscribe if you haven't already, like the content you've been enjoying, and check out our Patreon link in the description. Azrael won the dice roll, and starts us off by playing a mountain into a soul ring. And with that, he passes the turn over to channel newcomer Dave, who plays Rejuvenating Springs as his land for turn followed by a soul ring, then he taps that for an impressive display with a sapphire medallion hitting the board. I was gonna high five you and say we're soul ring buddies, but now I'm jealous. Yes. I'd be jealous too, buddy. Over to J-Man, he plays a tapped overgrown tomb as his land and says go over to Kyle. He drops branch loft pathway and he casts Elvish Reclaimer, a nifty little elf that cares about lands. He passes over to Azrael, who drops Mari Campus as his land for turn, and he passes over to Dave, who plays an island and casts a smooth 5-drop on turn 2, Tatiova Benthic Druid, enabling some life gain and card draw. Over to J-Man's turn, a forest hits his battlefield and he's ready to clamp some skulls with Skull Clamp. Over to Kyle, he plays Crag Crown Pathway as his land for turn, and follows that up by casting Sylvan Library. Got that sweet, sweet replacement effect drawn some cards. Swamp hits Azrael's board, and then he casts Honden of Night's Reach, which will allow him to make people discard cards, so that's fun. Over to Dave, he drops a Reliquary Tower, triggering Tatiova, gaining him a life, drawing a card. Then he casts his commander, AC, Tyrant of Gyre Strait, on turn three. Dave, you know we're mostly casual, right? He plays Dryad Arbor, which is a land and a creature but this triggers both AC and Tatiova. Undergrowth Stadium is J-Man's land for turn, and then he casts Circle of Dreams Druid, which could eventually tap for a bunch of mana, maybe. On a Kyle's turn, he draws three cards. I'm not a coward. I'll probably like live to regret that, but that's fine. So he paid four life for each card beyond the first. Hengegate Pathway is his land for turn, followed by a Tireless Provisioner, enabling food or treasure token production. Over to Azrael, he makes Dave discard a card on his upkeep, then plays Tendo Ice Bridge as his land for turn. And with that out, he'll use that charge counter and cast Binding the Old Gods. And with its first chapter of its saga hitting, he'll blow up Tatiova, then Thick Druid. Over to Dave, he plays Simic Growth Chamber. This will trigger AC and also bounce his Reliquary Tower back to his hand. He'll draw, then replay Reliquary Tower, triggering AC again. He casts Ristic Study, which will draw him more cards. Then he casts Cultivate, and with that he'll fetch up two lands. In this case, both of them are islands. One will hit the battlefield, and one will go to the hand. Again, triggering AC, getting him another card. Dave sends his things to the red zone, looking at Azrael, and dropping him down to 34. Over to J-Man's turn, he plays a Swamp as his land, and casts Fertile Ground. This will trigger Ristic Study and allow one of J-Man's lands to produce more mana. Then he'll cast his commander, Chatterfang Squirrel General, hoping to make a ton of squirrel tokens to scratch his opponent's eyes out. This again triggers Ristic Study and over to Kyle's turn. He'll draw three, and this time he'll put two of those cards back, avoiding the life loss. He then casts Cultivate, again triggering Ristic Study. He'll go find an island and a forest, and the island will enter the battlefield tapped, triggering his Tireless Provisioner and making him a treasure token. Then he'll play his Forest for turn, getting another treasure, and using all that to cast Oko, Thief of Crowns. This will not only trigger Ristic Study, but will also be able to make food tokens, turn a thing to a 3-3, or exchange two permanents, but we really just care about turning things into Elks, am I right? So anyway, AC's an Elk now. On Azrael's upkeep, he makes Dave discard again, and then draws for turn, which triggers Binding the Old God, allowing him to go fetch up a forest card, in this case it's Zagoth Triumph. He then drops Terramorphic Expanse, and goes and cracks that to find a plains. And one of them doesn't look like the others. What's the matter with you? We all have a thing about our lands, but Azrael seems to be a degenerate that doesn't care at all, which I hate. So he casts Grim Guardian, which drains each one of his opponents one life whenever one of his enchantments enters the battlefield. And speaking of enchantments, Dave plays Shark Typhoon to have some flying sharks attack his opponents. Then he swings his 3-3 Elk at Oko. Ironic, isn't it? And Dave casts Simic Charm, pumping up his Elk and dealing enough damage to Oko to kill him. He also gets a 2-2 Flying Shark from casting that charm. We don't have the shark tokens right now. Then he casts Into the Royal, bouncing Grim Guardian back to Azrael's hand, procking Shark Typhoon and getting another 2-2 Shark. 
Over to J-Man, he casts Dig Up as its cleave cost, so he'll search his library and grab a card. With that, he casts Squirrel Nest, which enchants a land and can start tapping to make squirrel creature tokens, which is great in a squirrel deck. Over to Kyle, he draws three, and he decides to take eight life. He casts his commander, Omnath, Locus of Creation, looking to take advantage of all the landfall triggers possible. So in this case, he drops Fabled Passage, triggering Provisioner and Omnath, gaining him a treasure as well as some life. He cracks Passage, finding a Plains, again triggering Provisioner for a treasure, as well as Omnath for some extra mana, which he then used to cast Farewell. So he'll exile all artifacts, enchantments, and graveyards. And after that, he passes over to Azrael. He'll draw and recast Grim Guardian, draining each one of his opponents one point of life. We make sure that those sharks have flying real quick. Then Ezrael casts Utopia Sprawl on one of his lands, again triggering Grim Guardian and draining each one of his opponents one life. Over to Dave, he drops an island as his land for turn, and then he casts Scourge of Fleets, which will bounce all of the creatures his opponents control with toughness 4 or less, which was based on the number of islands he controls. Then he moves to combat at Kyle, picking away at his life total. Over to J-Man, he plays Death Sprout at sorcery speed, targeting the Scourge of Fleets, but Dave decides to mana drain it, countering it, and getting four colorless mana on his first main phase next turn. The turn is passed over to Kyle, who plays a Scoot Swarm, and its better version of its landfall triggers already online because Kyle has six lands out. Glass Pool Mimic is cast, making a copy of Scoot Swarm, which is cool. Then he drops a land, which is Hinterland Harbor, this triggers both of his Scoot Swarms, making two more Scoot Swarms, and those are represented by insect tokens for now. Kyle passes the turn to Azrael, who draws and plays his Grim Guardian for the third time, or fourth time, whatever it is. It's a bunch of times. Then he drops Goshintai of Shared Purpose, which will trigger Grim Guardian again, draining his opponents, and allow him to make some spirits on his end step. Vivid Creek is dropped on Dave's board, then he casts Serpent of Yawning Depths, allowing Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents to be unblockable. In combat, Kyle blocks one creature with a Scoot Swarm and drops to six. Over to J-Man, he plays his Circle of Dreams Druid again and passes the turn to Kyle. On J-Man's end step, Kyle casts Worldly Tutor. He goes and finds Asusa, Lost But Seeking, shuffles up, and puts Asusa on top of his library. He then draws for turn. He recasts his commander, Omnath, Locus of Creation, which draws him another card. And with that, he'll cast Azusa, Lost But Seeking, allowing two additional lands to be played each one of his turns. He then plays Lava Glide Pathway and gets all the triggers, gets a bunch more Scoot Swarms, as well as some life gain from Omnath. Then he plays Atawara, Soaring City, getting even more triggers, gaining some extra mana from Omnath, and getting a whole bunch more Scoot Swarms. And then we update it to be Scoot Swarm little tokens instead of the insects. He casts Urban Evolution, drawing three cards and allowing him to drop one more land. In this case, it's a Polluted Delta, getting him even more triggers from all of his board. And with that, he'll crack Polluted Delta, forget to take one life, but that's okay. Omnath dealt four damage to each opponent, and Kyle finds Hallowed Fountain from Polluted Delta, yet again triggering all of his stuff. He took two life to have it enter the battlefield untapped. We clean up the board state a little bit, and Azrael plays Overgrown Tomb as his land, taking two points of life. He casts his commander, Goshintai of Life's Origin, triggering Grim Guardian, draining his opponents a little bit more. He also makes a Shrine token from Goshintai entering the battlefield, again triggering Grim Guardian as well. We don't have the Shrine tokens yet. Still, we thought we would have them by now. Azrael casts Imprisoned in the Moon on Omnath, again triggering Grim Guardian. Then he moves to end step and makes three spirit tokens. Over to Dave's turn, he plays Command Tower as his land. And following that, he moves right into the red zone, attacking Kyle and Azrael. In an effort to stay alive, Kyle casts Swords to Plowshares on Serpent of Yawning Depths, but Dave casts Syncopate in response. So this counters Swords to Plowshares, and Dave will deal enough damage to knock Kyle out of the game. He'll also deal 4 points of damage to Azrael in the air, then he casts Sharkto Crab as a follow-up play. And after that, he passes the turn over to J-Man, who draws and plays a Swamp as his land for turn, and then he casts his commander again from his hand, Chatterfang, Squirrel General. After that, 
he casts Toski, Bearer of Secrets, hoping to have some additional card draw when he deals damage to his opponents. Over to Azrael, he plays Goshintai of Ancient Wars. This triggers not only Grim Guardian, but also Goshintai of Life's Origin, getting him another Shrine Token and two Drain Triggers. He moves to End Step, and he pays one to get a bunch more Spirit Tokens, as well as deal enough damage to Sharkto Crab to kill it dead. Over to Dave, he casts Simic Sky Swallower, a Leviathan that has Shroud, Trample, and Flying. He drops a Forest as his land for turn, and moves to combat at Azrael, who has a response. So, I'm going to now also attempt to Swords him, but mine's in Japanese, so it's cool works. Agreed, good buddy. So no counterspell from Dave this time. So Serpent of Yawning Depths is exiled, Dave gains life, then they finish up the combat step, and Ezreal takes four more points of life. Over to J-Man, he plays Deranged Hermit, which has Echo, and it comes into play with four squirrel tokens attached to it. In this case, because Chatterfang is out, it's replaced to eight squirrels, which is pretty good in a squirrel deck. So then he moves to combat at both of his opponents, his unblockable Chatterfang drops Dave to 31, and Ezreal blocks with a spirit. J-Man draws off of Toski, drops a land for turn, and plays a fancy Zuluport Cutthroat. He passes the turn to Azrael, who plays Goshintai of Boundless Vigor. This will again make an additional shrine token off of Life's Origin, also triggering Grim Guardian, draining his opponents again. He moves right into end step, paying one for each one of Goshintai's triggered abilities. So he'll gain some counters on Ancient Wars, he'll make some more spirits, and then he'll deal damage to Dave's face. Over to Dave, he plays Merkfiend Liege, pumping his team and allowing him to untap his creatures at each player's upkeep. He then casts Trench Behemoth, which can give itself hexproof and is another big beating threat. He swings at Azrael, dropping him to 6 life. He passes to J-Man and untaps all of his creatures, as well as Deranged Hermit's Echo ability triggers. So when it dies, Zulaport Cutthroat will drain each opponent. Then J-Man moves right into combat. Ezreal blocks with a spirit, and Dave takes damage down to 18. Jamin will draw, and then he'll cast Exsanguinate, where X equals 16. So he'll drain his opponent's 16 life, which knocks Ezreal out of the game, and then he'll gain life, going to 58. On to Dave's turn, he plays Shipbreaker Kraken, but he does of course see that the writing is on the wall here, and despite that, he heroically smashes all of his stuff towards J-Man, who blocks with two of his squirrels, and drains Dave's life total to death with Zulaport Cutthroat. Congratulations, J-Man! So we had two Landfall decks, a Squirrel deck, and a Shrines deck for this game. What did y'all think about them? Let us know in the comments. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Check out our Patreon, and as always, thank you for watching.